All right, guys, I'm here to pick up my buck um, from Fagan's Taxidermy. I just wanted to show you guys the showroom real quick. Did the pack out mount. This is the one that they did a while ago, and this is what, you know, kind of made me decide to go with the one that I did. But if you're in the Maryland area, um, highly recommend this taxidermist. It's Fagan's Taxidermy, and they're in Edgewater, Maryland. So um, I believe it's Anne Arundel County, but... I mean, it's beautiful in here. It's a turkey right here. I'm just gonna put some B-roll in. Um, we're gonna go upstairs and get my buck in one minute, but stay tuned. I thought that was cool. No, I, that's awesome. I think he I was real happy with it, man. It's gotten uh, a lot of good reviews. People seem to like it. No, I love the pack out, man. It's just different. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's totally. Dude, he, Danny thought it was a real deer. The guy just left here, yeah. Brian, he yeah. thought it was an actual a lot a deer we, I just shot because I carried it up in my back. Yeah, no, that's he, awesome. He, and he said, that's how you pack them out, huh? Yeah. I said, dude, this is a mount. <laughs> he was, he yeah. definitely yeah. thought it was for real. He had no idea. <laughs> that means I did something right. <laughs> like, dude. I got to find, I got to find my dad's old license like that. I know it's somewhere. I just don't know where that thing's at, but. That's awesome, you man. You can find one, or you can just buy one of those online. Unfortunately, that's, like I said, that's my grandfather's. I think I got my brother's, but I'm like, oh, I kind of want my dad's on there. You know what I mean? Yeah. And, and at the end of the day, no one will really know whose it is, but it looks neat. And that's how the old school, when I started hunting, you had to have yeah. that, you know? You had to have that, that, had to have it on you. The hard part for you, dude, yeah. the genetics on that deer were incredible. And he's only three and a half. That's, I mean, that's kind of what I was hoping he was a little bit older, but... Just the body on him, like the decision that made me take him when I when I seen him, his body was huge. He looked he looked muscular, you know what I mean? Like he right. looked like, kind of mature, so that's kind of why. It's very hard to tell them. early season because their hair's so short and yeah. they a pencil neck. You didn't really know they're not swole yet. Yeah. Um, my old man shot this one four years ago. It was opening day, and right. it actually had a little bit of size, but it was five and a half. Right. right here, this deer right here. That's crazy. That thing's huge. Yep. Yeah, that one's huge. My dad shot that. My old man, that's, sorry about that. My dad shot that. That's, no, that's awesome. But like, yeah, he's like you were saying, like his. I don't know. He just looked look to me good enough to shoot. You know There's what I mean? There's a jaw in your certificate right there, big guy. Okay. See it on, uh, on yeah, I see saw? it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And you got lucky. They they sent the certificates to the wrong address, so I got duplicates. So there's two certificates in there, okay. and then that's his actual jaw with your name on it. Okay, awesome. <laughs> he told me that, and he told me to ask you like what um. I guess he's trying to do the same type of mount, but he uh -huh. has the deer already, so he was like, hey, ask him what I need to send him exactly. He wants to do the antlers on the side, kind of like you did mine. Okay. I know that, but I don't know. I didn't even does know you could really do that. Or does he, he made it sound like he just had the horns and he needed a cape. I don't know. So, I can't call him okay. while I'm here. And, he, and then his, I, I didn't realize he was out of state. He said he had to send it. Yeah, he's in Florida. Okay. So... But yeah, I can get capes. I buy them from butchers all the time. Right. You want a big 24-inch swole neck? I mean, like this one right here with the G2s. That's yeah. Not, those are more expensive. They're harder to come by. People right. buy those deer typically. Yeah, that's but beautiful. But an more average smaller deer like this one here, I have a bunch of these right here. Yeah. So. Okay. Yeah, I'll I'll ask him what he wants. I know he wants to do it for sure, though. Cool. I just wanted to show you. Like I said, I wanted to show you guys and introduce you guys. Yeah. This is CJ. Hey, how's it going, boss? And then Charlie. This is dad. This is family owned business. Yes, so family Charlie owned business. Jr., Charlie Sr. 41 years I've been doing it. He's there been there with you go. Me 12 years CJ has been. 12 years full time. But uh, even before that, uh, I met my first duck when I was 11. So that's awesome. Still down yeah, they, yeah man. they do a ton of like waterfowl stuff too. So That's like, all I do. 300 yeah. ducks a year or uh, geese, turkeys, swans. And I got lucky with meeting these guys because I was going to another taxidermist and then he went out of business and they referred me here, which is awesome because- Good guy he was, Mike yeah. Kelly. Yeah, Mike Kelly, yeah, good that's people. who it was. Mike Kelly's good people. And then like the pack out mounts, I don't know, I think they're getting more popular. They are. I don't know if everybody does them, you know what I mean? And it's or not for everybody. Right. His wife didn't seem to like, I did one for him, the very <laughs> like, first prototype I did. Yeah. She's like, it looks like a dead deer on the wall. I'm like, well, that's how it's supposed to look. Yeah. Like, <laughs> like a dead, a, du a duck, dead duck hang mount, like over there. If yeah. you want to look at that one right there yeah. on the video, see that's kind of the same idea. See in the corner right there. Over right? here. Yeah. See the duck, the dead hang mount right here. Yeah. So that's kind of the same idea. Right. Approach, right. Correct. No, that's awesome. 
Yeah. It's, it, it's I like that. Popular. I like them a lot. Especially if a bird is damaged, you can put it a certain way where you hide the damage. I seen one of them. Um, Come on in. Sorry about that. Oh, it's all know, good. It's a bloody day. All yeah. right, guys. I just wanted to show you real quick. I had my buck's teeth sent in, and they can actually tell how worn they are. Um, that's how they age them. I don't know much about it, but it says it right here: cementum aging. And it's got my name and it said my buck was three and a half years old which i think is pretty close i know depending on where your deer live and what they eat their diet can you know change that a little bit i know some people say this isn't a hundred percent i'm not the best guys at aging these deer especially you know in the heat of the moment so i just wanted to share it only cost 40 bucks to do this so um i thought it was pretty cool that my uh taxidermist um was willing to send these in just to see how old your buck was i think it's you know something really unique and i wanted to share that with you guys all right guys i just got home from the taxidermist and i didn't do the best job of explaining this i don't think so i'm gonna go over a couple things real quick that i forgot to mention but um this is my 2021 velvet opening day bow buck if you guys want to see the hunt, I'm going to link that in the video description below. Definitely check that out. This is my first successful self-filmed bow hunt. So um, it really means a lot to me. The video didn't do that good. I'm not sure why. I think it was something with the SEO, my title, or maybe my thumbnail. But if you guys would check that out and drop a comment on it and let me know you went there i'd really appreciate that so if you guys were wondering like total cost what this cost to me it was around a thousand bucks so if you're wanting to do the pack out mount that's obviously you know gonna change depending on what your taxidermy charges but i mean it should be close i couldn't be more happier with how this buck turned out so i don't have any complaints about that you got to understand there's a lot of time and work that goes into these mounts and these guys really don't make a ton of money doing it. So I'm just very grateful and thankful that I have a really good taxidermist that's, you know, willing to do what I want to get done. So at the end of the day, like that's better than I envisioned my buck coming out. So I, <laughs> they always look smaller. Um, I'm trying to get better at that, but like it all comes down to what makes you happy. Really it boils down to if I get that excitement and you know, it gets, gets me going and I feel like I should take the shot I do so you know I have nothing but respect for the whitetails and I gotta stop getting mounts of every deer I get um, I'm gonna try to get better at aging them and it's so pressured though back where I hunt like if I let a three and a half year old go I don't know if he's gonna be back the next year I mean there's there's hunting pressure all around so that plays into it too but I don't feel like I need to explain myself that's a whole nother video but I think there's a lot of pressure these days on you know there's a certain amount of respect for people depending on how old their buck was or how big it is and the sport of hunting's not about that and i try not to fall into that but i do like a challenge i do want to be pushed and i also want to get better as a hunter so that's all part of it i don't want to talk your ear off but a cool thing that cj showed me in the shop was that paracord is actually from his grandfather's parachute he was in the army and he actually used that paracord from his parachute on my buck so like these things these little details and these types of stories are you know make it all better um it adds to the story of it cj did have to order like a bigger head he said he had a huge head on him the trail cam pictures i had of him like big neck chest belly um i don't know about the back i don't know if all them things even really matter or are a hundred percent to tell you if a buck's mature or not but like from the trail cam pictures you can see in the actual hunt video itself down in the video description you'll see all my trail cam pics of him um, i had some video of him too he just looked like a beast you really couldn't ask for nicer people guys and like all the little extra things that cj added to the pack out mount like the actual mount he went to an antique store it was actually used before like so who knows what kind of stories that pack out could tell it was i think the mount was like 140 by itself and then like just adding the antlers and the turkey feather um the license on there was his grandpa so he had to take that back i'm trying to find my dad's to put on there because that would mean the world to me but um all those little things the 
grunt call, you know, the paracord like we went over already. Like all that stuff, guys, just means so much. You know, I can tell the story with this mount. And like I said, from now on, I think I'm just going to go with the pack out mount for every bow buck that I take. I think that's a good way of kind of looking at it. But the velvet too, I think they put, I don't know if it's what the chemical is. I think it might be formaldehyde or whatever they do. That's the actual real velvet. You can send your antlers in and get the artificial velvet on them. I've had that done before too. That that can look really good. Um, I've heard that'll last longer, but I kind of messed up with dragging them out. You know, just by doing that without a sled, we had to bring them through some brush and stuff like that, and it actually tore some of the velvet off. But it's part of the story. There's nothing else I can really think of about the mount that I want to go over, except for the fact that I'm completely happy with it. If you guys haven't subbed though, make sure you smash that subscribe button down for me. Leave a comment, let me know if you like the pack out mount or if you guys have got a mount just like mine done. Also give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Don't forget, ring that notification bell too for me guys so when I drop a new video, you guys will get notified about it. Um, if you would share it, it always helps the channel out. Until the next one though guys, you have officially been outdoors.